be able to just like create a spreadsheet yep we've done it it does seem like there 
is at a quick glance. 31. 31 entries. So if y'all didn't enter, that's brutal because you would have had a good shot. A good shot at it, but it's okay. I extended it to try and let more and more people and uh, so there's obviously most of this is going to be blurred because it's like personal information um, in this spreadsheet but oh no 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 I see it's 30 people I have at the top row the timestamp of when they entered uh, email address yeah it's yeah, you know you get it you get it you get it so okay um what I will do, I think, can we do a random number generator? Perfect. Okay, so we'll do 2 and 31, because those are the rows where there are information, either 2 or 31. And we will generate, gen generate a random number. Uh, we'll do this twice and pick two, pick two, pick two, pick two of y'all, pick two winners, two winners, two winners, two winners, two winners, two winners, two winners. I took the little mic floof off my mic to see if it would pick up a little differently, because sometimes I feel like the mic floof makes a little bit more muffled. I think this is more raw, organic sound coming from the mic. Uh, the mic floof, the floof is nice if I'm getting, like, really up close. see it as private as I can uh, but I will say Daniel Daniel you have won Daniel you have won let's see what you um, what you told me in your response That's for the that's for the thumbnail. <laughs> that sound is cool. Um, the Valentino Womo intense. I do believe has some espresso notes.
first. I'm assuming that this would be your first pick. Also, I apologize if I mispronounce your name. But I believe it's Daniel. I don't, I do not believe it's Danielle because I think Danielle would have two L's and an E, possibly. At least, or one L and an E. At least that's how my friend spelled it. I don't know. She spelled it with. She has an E at the end. And her name's Danielle. But. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Um, let's see. Let's, um. because I didn't pay full, I didn't pay for them, um, but they're my, like, expensive, like, 300, 400 bottle ones, and I didn't, um, I got them for free, if y'all don't know my history, I used to work in the fragrance industry, so I worked with brands specifically, and they would do competitions for me to, like, say, sell for them, and then if I sold the most of their bottles type of thing, then I'd get a free bottle. So that's where most of my collection has come from. I think I've only bought three of my three bottles in my collection. I have quite a bit, obviously. So <laughs> that's why we're giving them away. Um, because I will never get through them enough. And if you didn't know, fragrances can and do, like, turn. They eventually go bad. Um, there's things that you can do to make the shelf life last longer. Um, but there, there is definitely, they definitely have a lifespan, because then they'll, it's not like they'll smell bad, some fragrances do. When they go bad, they actually smell bad. But they, like, don't smell like how they initially intended. Um, but all of mine I've kept in one thing that I think a lot of people do, uh, mistakenly, is keep fragrances in the bathroom and bathrooms are known especially if you have it's especially if it's not a like a half bath if it's like a full bathtub or at least a shower um they end up getting really humid bathrooms do um in general so humidity can uh, make a fragrance and like stark temperatures uh differences and stuff so I know some people keep their fragrances in, like, a mini-fridge. That, I think, is a little, a little insane. But I get it if you are wanting to keep them. If you're not going to go through them, I understand putting them in a fridge. Um, I put them just in the coldest spot in my apartment, close to the AC, and in, uh, in my shelf. So they're out of sunlight as well, because um, temperature that way from the sun can also... Anyway. It's up to you how you store it, but if you want to get your fragrances to last the longest that they can without changing scent, um, dry, cooler, out of the sun, not humid spots in your house. sprays of, of some of these so it's like I will never get through all of them before they start to go bad so I wanted to give them away for y'all for y'all thank you for watching and, and subscribing and I'm glad that
this um, Google form worked out because I think it was the safest, easiest way to communicate with all y'all and keep your information private and safe instead of like Twitter DMs or something. Like that. Let's take a look at. I'm trying to get the dust off them. I guess I haven't dusted in my shelf cabinet unit thing in a while. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different sound here. I like that sound. reaching out to you. I don't want to, um, I don't think there needs to be, like, an open communication back and forth, but you will get tracking info sent to whatever, uh, email slash phone number that you provided. Um, so, just know that today I will be making the labels. I should be
this was the other one. Valentino, born in Roma. Jean-Paul Gaultier. Or Replica at the Barbers. Now, I'm going to assume... I'm going to go... Let me just go grab all three. and people would still be like obviously I worked on commission so I was trying to sell the highest priced fragrances because that would make me a higher paycheck so I didn't really ever try to sell designer fragrances all that often I tried to sell like niche fragrances which is like technically Tom Ford and um considered niche I guess even though he's like a designer I that's confusing to me because they're like niche priced but like designer brand I don't know uh, but like perfumes de Marley and Creed uh, those are like and Le Labo those are like more niche fragrance houses but anyway all that being said I would never push this and it would still sell I would still have some people would get this, like stock up and get like three at a time. Fucking crazy. <laughs> but the fans who are fans of this stick to it. They they like it. necessarily your first picks uh I see I see what happened just the order that I had put it in but you checked both of those so let me there's also a comment section so let me go back to Daniel to see if you said anything in the comments no so you only selected Spice Bomb or Valentino I will give you uh, Valentino because it's technically worth more so <laughs> Victor, let's check. Uh, also, no comments. So these you just selected: Jean-Paul Gaultier, Valentino, uh, born in Roma. I remembered what it was called. 
has a little like spiky collar that matches. The Valentino bottles are, just, bottles are just sick. And then, of course, the replica at the barber is very fresh, very clean. I'd say out of these three that you selected, at the barber's is my favorite. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have completely forgot where I left off in the video because my dog has been going absolutely batshit crazy for the last 30 minutes. She will not calm down. She is not being very demure. I'm a little pissed off because I'm trying to record ASMR videos for y'all today. So I have completely lost the plot and I don't remember where we were. What I was saying was at the barbers, out of these three, at the barbers is my favorite. Which means I've also used it the most. So they're all, all of these are 3.4 ounce bottles. And all of them have, it, have been used at least once. But I do want to say at the barbers have been used maybe for like seven days. So there's a little bit more missing. So I don't really feel good about giving you out of these three, like would you rather have a fuller bottle or would you rather have what I think is my favorite out of the three? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like I want to give you at the barber strictly because I think it smells the best. I think you you would really enjoy it. Um, Cause it's, it's uh fragrance description shaving and leathery notes um valentino born aroma has a more citrusy higher like fruit fruity esque vibe i'd say that the jean paul gautier is more on the same level as at the barbers where it's more fresh and clean uh smelling but i do genuinely think that at the barbers is my personal favorite between these three. Hmm. What should we do? What should we do? Here. Well, this is what this is what we'll do. We'll do another random gen number generator. One to three. Okay. This is gonna be one, two, and three. Okay. One. You're gonna get at the barbers. I was leaning towards that, so that makes me feel good about that for you, Victor. Right? Yes, Victor. All right, Victor and Daniel. Congratulations to you both. Okay, I'm gonna do it. A thumbnail. A thumbnail. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know why. Congratulations, Daniel. This one's for. I'm so happy I can give back to y'all that I have stuff in my life that I can give away that you guys can enjoy I and show my appreciation for y all y'all watching and subscribing and taking the time to fill out the form because I know that it was kind of kind of extensive like you got to put in your address your name you know what you wanted if you were to win and stuff like that so um I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to wrap up this video. And again, you should. I'm going to make the... I don't know if you'll get a text or an email today. Because I'm make, I'm going to make the, have them make the labels today, today. But I don't know if I can package them and get them out today. Because um, I want to record 
the rest, because basically I worked, I, I worked my real job the rest of the week, and so I want to try and get filming and editing done on all my ASMR videos for the next few videos. I'm going to try and do four videos today, but that, it's a lot of recording and then a lot of editing, so I'm going to try, I'm going to try. You should, at least if the labels are made, get get the tracking number, I think, is how that works. And then, um, obviously, once it's, like, scanned in and packaged properly and everything and safely, uh, the tracking info will update and tell you where and give you an estimated delivery date. But it should be, I think I'm just doing the cheapest, safest option with FedEx, which I think is, like, Five to seven business days. I can't quite remember. No, do not quote me on that. Do not quote me on that, and don't get me canceled. I am, I am a re I'm doing a real giveaway. I don't fake my giveaways. I'm not a faker like Mr. Beast. <laughs> Sorry, I, <laughs> I gotta punch up, you know. do some more fragrance giveaways after I do a few more videos with some more fragrances because I don't I like having the collection because then I can make videos from them but then if I get rid of all of them and I haven't recorded with bro I'm looking at the recording <laughs> and we're at like an hour and a half and I feel like the video is actually only 20 minutes because the rest of it is me trying to shut my dog so hot and sweaty now because I've had the AC off for so long. I hope this energy doesn't translate into the video. I hope this is still a calming, relaxing video. <sighs> Let's just breathe together, okay? stress about the loud ass noise. There's literally a jackhammer going on outside. What is happening? It's like a little discouraging because I want to make 
good quality ASMR content. But any, any time I try to sit down and record, there is like loud noise after loud noise after loud noise. It's not just like this jackhammer is like a few blocks down, so it's not too loud. But my dog, you can hear her still barking. Ooh. It's quieter now, but like, I swear to God, every time I go to record, there is something going on that is trying to keep me from making ASMR. And sometimes it's very, very discouraging, and I don't want it to be. I want to be able to make content. But then when I sit here trying to make a 20 minute video, and I've spent two hours just recording, switching is so is such a hard skill for me to develop and like every time I hear a noise I'm like I have to figure out how to make that quieter or how, how to, like it just takes me out of my vibe of making ASMR recently with a friend. What an incredible movie. That was a fun time. Very, very spooky. Very eerie. Thriller. Suspense. And Hunter Schaefer is f fucking gorgeous. Amazing. She's beautiful. I want, I want to be with her. Be, do I want to be her? Or be with her. I wanted to record more, but like, 